with our next person. We're actually going to the darts. It's the PDC World Championship. It is their flagship event. And Russ is our man in London. Russ, how has it started? Yeah, very well, Flash. Um, I think you've seen on Odds Market, we've had a good number of winners. And today we've tipped up two out of two with one pick remaining, which will kick off at nine o'clock this evening. Uh, we've had a few shocks. Rob Cross, to be fair, he was one of our tips. He's no, gone no, out. No, no, and Michael no. Smith has gone out. But the top... No, he wasn't one of our tips. It was your tip. <laughs> Don't be bringing one me of my in tips, this boat yeah. that's taking on water. <laughs> I'm not interested. And will you stop swaying to your right because I can't see your little bald head? All right, I'll stay still. Top man, top man. OK, so what's this first bet then? Is it the Gabriel Clemens minus 1.5 leg to beat Benito van der Pass at 1.8 with bet 365? Spot on flash. And let's just say it again. To make it three out of three for the day. Yeah, Clemens has played really well the back end of the year. Players' Championship. Grand Slam of darts has looked very good. He's throwing well. He's checking out well. He'll have no fear going into the Alexandra Palace cauldron. It's going to be a great atmosphere tonight. And yeah, I really strongly fancy him to have a good start. Van der Pass, good player, but well out of form at the minute. So yeah, I really fancy Clemens to get the job done here and cover the handicap. And, and for those people that are not really aware of the darts, which is not many people, because obviously darts is a worldwide sport, is it the in this first round, is it the best of five sets? So is it the first of three? And there's five yeah. legs per set? Yes, yeah, spot on flash. The first player to win three legs, so you get best of five, wins the set, and yet it's best of five sets to see who wins the match. So, so basically, yeah, Gabriel Clemens, as long as he wins, he wins. Simple as that. Yeah, 3-0 or 3-1. And then we're in the money tonight. OK, lovely. We like that. We like that. Let's move on then. Steve Beaton, who's been on uh, on the circuit for a good old maybe 25 years, versus Carl Anderson, over 4.5 sets in the match at 2.63. Uh, 13 to 8 with Bet365. Yeah, look, I can't split these two. Carl Anderson was 2-0 down to a rank outsider the other day. Came back and won 3-2. So he obviously had a lot of time at the hockey to get used to the Alexandra Palace. Yeah, he came through there. He was massive favourite, so it could have been a massive shot if he went out. So, yeah, he plays Steve Beaton. Steve Beaton, as you say, massive veteran. I think he's played in many, many World Darts Championships. Um, and, again, he's an average player. So, I think both of these will go hammer and tong, and I can see this going 3-2 either way, thus the over four and a half sets. So, yeah, all the way to the end, I think, could be, could be a long one, this one. Yes, yeah, Steve Beaton always used to remind me of uh, Tom Selleck, Magnum PI. So, uh, and he loves it. He, listen, they used to say that he was the pin-up boy for the other side. It was, uh, what, what were they? Were they with the BDO or something? The other side of the PDC? B BDO, yeah. I've got yeah, good the BDO. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't even have to look that up. OK, and what about Danny Norpair? At minus 1.5 legs to beat Callan Rids at... 2.05 with William Hill. Yeah, Rids played in the first round. Again, looked very shaky. Just managed to, to win 3-2. Um, Danny Nopper playing again really well. Same as Clemens, the back end of the year. Um, young guy, in form, throwing well. Again, won't have any fear at Alexandra Palace. And again, as we've seen, some of these players, as soon as they get onto the hockey at the Alexandra Palace, the World Darts Championship, yeah, their, their hands go and they just can't throw a double and can't throw a treble 20. But I think Noppat will start well. He has the credentials to win comfortably here. And yeah, minus 1.5 legs. Yeah, Noppat to win 3-0 or 3-1. OK, let's, uh, this was one of your tips at 25-1 to 1 on the outrights. We will have that up a little bit later. But Dave Chisnell to win 3-1 in sets at 3.75. That's 11-4 with Ladbrokes. Chisnell, how's he looking? Well, hopefully he's looking on form. He's yet to play and he's seen two of the big seeds go out. Uh, so he'll know that he needs to turn up. He needs to start well. Otherwise, yeah, he could be the end of he could be in on the end of a massive shot. Van der Fort, very, very experienced. But Chisnell is playing really well. Thus, he was us. He was my second tip for the World Darts Championship. And for a bonus for odds market fans, I'll be there live at Alexandra Palace tomorrow night. Can't wait to see. 
uh, the darts live in action, uh, and I'll be sending a short video from there yeah, tomorrow that's what night. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to say to you, don't waste that opportunity. Make sure you get, because we love the darts. That's normally the hashtag. Now, the reason I said, yeah, Chisnell, how is he looking? Because you said that Chisnell and Cross, your other one, could meet in the quarterfinals. So now, you say the two big seeds are out. Obviously, Cross is gone. Who was the other one that went? And it was Ian Chisnell's side of the draw. Yeah, quarter three, Chisnell was meant to play cross if all the seeds um, went through. So now we're rooting on Chisnell to qualify from quarter three. Uh, and then, obviously, the second favourites go in price. So them two would be due to meet in the semi-final. But, again, fingers crossed, Chisnell starts well tomorrow and wins. It won't be easy. Uh, but I think he'll get the job done. Um, and Flash, we need to mention, obviously, the big news from Alexandra Palace yesterday. Uh, Fallon uh, Sherrock, uh, the young lady who, who won and became, obviously, the first female player uh, to win at the World Darts Championship. Big news today. She was on Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan. And, yeah, has had a lot of PR today. Uh, and thoroughly well done to her. Yeah, uh, I was one of the first to tweet it out. I tweeted out her video Second dart at double 18 and dismissed the lad. See you later. And the darts heavens opened. They went absolutely bonkers for it. I retweeted it and everyone has gone uh, fell and Sherrick mad. And so they should. Because uh, as we know, the men go to pieces like the pieces in a jigsaw box. Like, whoa. But not her. Uh, and listen, that's great. It's great that they're even letting her... Uh, letting her get involved but there again she is a professional so why not and listen the other one I'm going to get up as a reminder before tomorrow night it's still available Dave Chisnell at 25 to 1 and that's a third of the odds 1-2 and if we are going to go with that one make sure everyone hexes Gerwin Price every time he plays because we don't want really want to see him in a semi we want an armchair ride right to the final Yes, yeah, spot on flash. And Gerwin Price is actually last on tomorrow night. So after Chisnell hopefully wins, then Gerwin Price is on last play of the night. Obviously, I think he's now swaying the boo boys to, to give him cheers because obviously he's, he's won the uh, Players' Championship and obviously he performed well in the Grand Slam of Darts. So, yeah, he's, he's one of the good guys now, but it's going to be an interesting matchup. OK, well, when, hopefully Chisnell wins because obviously we're all on him. I took the 25 to 1 this morning. But I want to be seeing a little bald Eddie Geezer every time Gerwin Price throws it up. <laughs> like giving it one of them. And, and that's what we want to see. We want to see the scorer get one in the side of the head. Oh, let's hope so. No, no, it's <laughs> going to be a fantastic night of darts. Really look forward to, to it. It is a phenomenal atmosphere. And if everyone watches it live on Sky Sports or their uh, domestic channel, it's, it's a great night of entertainment. Listen, keep up the great work, mate. Keep them uh, articles coming in. If you want to find out about what Russ is doing, then get over to oddsmarket.com. As he said, he had two out of two this morning. He's going for three out of three this afternoon. English time will be this evening. And also, he's going to be sending us a short video tomorrow. Is it tonight you're sending it or tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll be live at Alexandra Palace. Can't wait. Yeah, make sure with hashtag we love the darts. Cheers, Russ. You take care.